can't tell somebody the devil can't stop what's going on with you. Ain't no nigga stop you. Because I want to talk to you and I'm going to be down here. Am I preaching good to you all? Here's the three things I want you to get on this resurrected Sunday. This for you, Daniel. You have to understand. Whatever this is, I just got this book. This for you. When Jesus is your example, there are three things. There's a lot of things. I want you to focus on three things. When you look at his life, because you have a story. And I'm going to talk to you about your story here in a minute. Because I, I take a sidebar. I want you to get your mind set on this. There's a story of S T O R Y, and there's a story of S T O R E Y. The S T O R Y connects with S T O R E Y. S T O R E Y is how they build buildings, it's dimensions. Okay, okay. It's a 13 story building. Yeah. Y'all heard that before? Yeah. But it's had 14. It don't, it, it, but it have, it, see, it don't have 13 floors. Yeah. It has 14 floors yeah. because they don't count 13. Okay. They don't build buildings having 13 floors. I know y'all heard that, right? Superstition. It goes from 12 to 14. Yeah. So even those 14 oh. floors, it's still 13 stories. Yeah. Yeah. The stories, man, measure dimension. Mm -hmm. Am I teaching y'all yeah. Yes. And what, when Jesus said, upon this rock, I will build my church, he said, I'm going to build my church story after story. Yeah. But your story completely becomes the story of the church. Yes. Come on, come on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Am I teaching y'all good here? Yes. When you have a testimony, see the church is built on testimony. We try to build it on buildings. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, you understand what I'm saying? We try to build it on roads. Come on. And canes and what they call it? Anyway, that word. Something. Anyway, we try to build it with what people see. Every story of the church is a testimony of a child of God. Amen. 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 Yes. Trials and tribulations. Watch this. When your story is fulfilled, it becomes a story of the church. Yes. And your testimony is supposed to build the church to another dimension. Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. Keep growing, yes. keep growing. Come on, Are we right here? Right Are we teaching the good? Yes. That's why the enemy tries so hard, Dan, to get you to quit in the process. Yes. Because once your story is fulfilled, it becomes a story. Yes. And now that thing is stationed in the church. Yes. And the church is going to another dimension to your story. There you go. Because your testimony adds another stop going. Yes. Another, level, another, story another, level, to another level. So every time you go through something and have a testimony, God is working because you have one final story to add. And when you walk perfectly in your destiny and you have the testimony that your story is now added to the church. Yes. When you get to everything you're going through and walk in that thing that God promised you, yes. now your story yes. is complete and you become a story on the yes. church. Yes, 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 yes. yes. That word came to us, I was studying that you become an, are y'all hearing me? Yes. Are y'all understand how significant yes. it is why the church needs to stay focused? Yes. Because if you don't put your story in, something will be missing. That's it, that's it, that's it. If you don't complete your story, our why, then the story, our why, we will never get to be in the church. Yes. Come on, yes. And we'll continue to build big buildings and put on robes. Empty, and empty. And use canes. Be empty. And yes. people will never, ever get better. They'll, they'll, they'll dance and they'll never That's see victory. That's yeah. true. That's Let me true. tell you something. This is Resurrection Sunday because I got these three points to give you. Hear me. If you can hear me, say amen. amen. If you are in this building, God chose you. You are chosen. You are foreknown. There is something that you have to add. God don't waste time. It may not be what I have to add. Your story may not even be a church story, Amen. but it's still a story in the church. Yes, 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 yes. Your story might be what you got to go through to finish your business, yes. or write your book, or do your movies, yes. or write your play, or start something. But when you walk in that thing, your story, your testimony to your faith is established in the church. Yes. And now you can reach people on the outside of the church. Come on now. Oh, God, yeah, are are y'all here with me here now? Does everybody understand how important your story is? That's why I asked y'all in the beginning, what is your story? Can I talk to y'all because I feel the Holy Ghost? I want you to please get off the emotions right now. Because just because you're emotional don't, that does not mean you're right. And what they've done with us, particularly in our black church, is they made us emotional and they get excited about having a good time with no meat to eat. Amen. Amen. Are you hearing me? Yes. You have a story that's intended to be a story in the building of the church. Yes. Yes. Upon this rock, Peter, me, the pastor, the Holy Ghost, I'm going to build my church. Yes. 
But the stories are gonna be built by the people that call. Come on, son. Come on. Come on. That's come right. on. Yeah. Come on. And every story has a storyline. Yes. yes. So you don't just wake up one day and be in it. No. You gotta suffer a little while. Yes. You gotta be rejected and talked about. Yes. You gotta go through the degradation and stuff. For your story to be complete, so to be. I, I, am I doing this right, y'all? Yes. Yes. Are you seeing how important you are? Yes. I don't care if you haven't been to church in 10 years. Yes. If you've been here this morning, God sent you here Amen. for you to know that you are significant. Yes. And if you quit, that building, that story of the church does not get to be accomplished. Amen. And the only way it won't be accomplished is if you quit. Amen. If you keep walking, because I'm going to tell you why right now. You're ready for the rest of this message? This is the meeting. Understand this. When you walk in this thing with Jesus, it's going to be, I have three points to give you. When your story is being told or being formulated, it gets a little tough. And here's the first point. While you're journeying, if you can hear me say amen, amen. there are going to be people. The first point is, just because they plan your death, does not mean you're going to die. Amen. Amen. Come on. Come on. amen. Yes, God. Glory. I thought I was in the right church. Yes, Glory. Oh! It's a oh! 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 People always try to kill, but they don't understand. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I mean, God called you to do something new and different. Oh. People are, uh, they, they, they don't want to look ignorant. So they don't want to deal with their own ignorance. They try to kill you before they oh. let you flourish. Come oh, on now. Come on. Whatever you tell you, you know, I want you to hear me. Because everybody wants you to fall in this, this crazy church thing that we do. This little model that we make. That we come to church on Sunday pretending oh. to be perfect. Come on. And then when you talk to people in our house, they know who we really are. Come on. Come on. Know who you are. You have a story to tell. Of and because your story is so significant, people don't understand that your story is different from theirs. Yes. And because they think they know everything, they will try to kill you in the midst of your preparation. Yes. And I want you to understand the first point I came to make today on this Resurrection Sunday. Just because they plan it, don't mean that you're going to die. Come on. Amen. You have to understand, they can't help it. They are, listen, General, please hear me. Stop asking why people do stuff. Yeah. They're doing what they're ordained to do. That's true. That's true. Judas walked right yeah. inside Jesus. He was yeah. ordained to betray him. Yeah. Peter fought for him. He was, he was ordained to deny him. People lie. do what they have been ordained to do. Yeah. It may be your mama. It may be your daddy. It may be your brother. It may be someone in church. But they only do what they have been ordained to do. Yeah. And just because they plan meetings of your demise, it does not mean you're going to die. Amen. Come on, come on. Come on. Amen. 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 I oh think I'm preaching too good. No, you're not preaching. Can I go to a story in the Bible right here? Yes. Of the Good Samaritan? Come on. They beat him and left him on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. Intended for him to die. Yes. But just because they need you to die, don't mean you're going to die. Amen. And that's just a part of your story. Yeah. But if he would have died, the story would have never been told. Yes. But the story was told because he lived through it. Yes. Someone hard, I'm going to live through this. Yes. The devil is alive, I'm going to let you talk to my destiny. I'm going to live through this. You and just because you have in your meetings and you go to the root man and you doing all this stuff it does not mean I'm going to die baby I'm going to walk on top of it and keep trucking someone in here say amen people just are afraid to be ignorant and uh, because they don't want to be ignorant they try to kill you in your process I'm happy that's the first point first point is the resurrection of your life just because they plan your death that's not mean you're going to die. That's true. Every one of us that had people plan our demise. Yep. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. Some of y'all are dealing with that right now. <laughs> they busy going to the root man, busy on the phone. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't go there this morning because I don't have time. I don't know, Daniel, why church folk can't get it. Mm. Stay off that phone, y'all. <laughs> All that is, that's the avenue of the enemy to misery. Okay. <laughs> stay, if they ain't speaking life, stay off the phone. No way to the second point is, the second point is, see, the religious of the leaders of the day, they tried to, they, they didn't understand what's going on with him, and they cannot have the discomfort of being ignorant. See, when you're doing stuff that people never seen before, they trouble you. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. When they see you in church and you, they don't think you should be in church, it troubles them. So what they do is they attack you. Because they don't match their religion. 
And before they would admit that they are wrong or to go to discomfort of being ignorant, they attack and try to kill you so your story can never come to life. Yeah. 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 Yeah.